Hey guys, it's a Damo and Brian. And while on the road, we had come up with an idea for a segment called Who Are They Protecting? We didn't know when we came up with this idea that we'd be the focus of the first segment. So sit back and enjoy as we break down the first episode of Who Are They Protecting? I never could quite grasp how protection equaled a thousand dead a year. If their ideas are so good, what's the gun for? If the police are paid to protect me, why do I always get nervous when they're around? Sometimes I think, who are they protecting? Why would you protect somebody by force? It's always fun until someone calls the cops. Seems like I can never figure out. Who are they protecting? Adamo and I are currently traveling around the country in Mac, the mobile accountability for cops RV. Toot toot. On our first night, we decided to stop in Noblesville, Indiana to meet up with some friends, whose identities we'll conceal because men with badges may levy threats against them. Silly cops. While there, we spontaneously chalk the police station, as we've both been known to do. This time, though, we brought liquid sidewalk chalk. See these never-before-seen clips from that night. Who watches the watchers? Brian Summer does, right? Every day. <laughs> Keep my eyes open for police corruption. Cause you never know when it might be busting. We make our own rap videos while we chuck the police. We do it well cause we're all about peace. After our trucking outreach, we headed over to a Walmart parking lot to grab a late night dinner, a few items, and to park for the evening. While walking back, we noticed four cop cars around the RV. We recorded our interaction and posted it the next day. Notice how the cops only warn us about chalk and the possibility of paint, but do not arrest or cite us, as seen here. Obviously, you guys were at our police station earlier, correct? Obviously. I'm not answering questions. Whatever you want to do, you got to do. Okay. Whether you use chalk or not, so when you guys use chalk for your speech, if you want to do that, that's fine. I don't agree with it. But the guys that use paint you probably need to knock it off. Okay. You know who it is. You guys can I think when you guys find out, it's liquid chalk. No, th yeah, yeah, th there is How do you know that? What's that? I'm very smart. You can see from our video that we use standard chalk and liquid sidewalk chalk. We can only assume that the police are upset about the liquid chalk. We just so happened to have some onboard Mac. So we decided to test it to see if it was difficult to remove or caused any damage. Of course, we recorded our findings, and you can see those here. Show what you got there. So liquid that, sidewalk chalk and that was the exact same yellow thing that was used the night of the crime see how much damage we'll clean it up we'll clean it out a little bit and it's 132 so it's been 10 minutes since we've chalked the liquid chalk see how well it goes in 10 minutes a light pressure just a sprinkle Look at that, the regular chalk goes away right away. 10 minutes, 10 minutes. A little speck here, but I just wipe it with my finger, gone. Paint comes right off. Well, that looks pretty simple for the 10 minute test. It has now been what, one hour? No, two hours. Maybe a little bit more, too. A couple minutes past the two. 322. 122. It has been two hours now, and we're going to do the last test area on the seasoned concrete. We'll see how long it takes to get this horrendous yellow paint liquid chalk off. There goes the regular chalk, no problem. And so they probably just came out and did this, and were like, oh, man, it doesn't get off. It's paint. It do, but... Look at this, with minimal amount of water pressure, it does start to come up. <laughs> so now I guess the question is, are we being punished for their laziness? That they didn't get out there right away to clean it up? Or, you know, and it, or that it took a little more work than the standard chalk? Like, can you be, should you be sent to jail because somebody had to work harder? As you can see, the chalk was rather easy to remove even after being on the concrete for two hours. It also didn't create any damage at all to seasoned or finished concrete. 
So if we add all this together, the four cops huffing and puffing outside the RV the first night, criminal mischief warrants issued for us, my temporary detainment in Kansas City, we can't help but ask, who are they protecting? If you'd like to know who the Hamilton County Sheriff's or Prosecutor James Baldwin are protecting, feel free to call them. Their information's in the link below. Remember to ask them, who are you protecting?